Hello, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Giovanni. Good evening. How are you? How was uh how was good your evening. day, guys? Good evening. How was your day? Good, it, so it's so good. It's it was good. Good. Un poco cansado. ¿Cómo se dice un poco cansado? It was kind of tiring. Ah, uh, 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 yes, tired. Tiring. Con sí. ING. Tiring. Tiring. Excellent. Okay. All right. So, but good evening, Oscar. Then, but how do you feel? Good? So, so, are you at home? Are you driving? I'm working. Really. Yes, Oscar, you are working. What about you? Well, Kevin, you are at home. And you, Giovanni? Eh, en casa. In home. At home. At home. At home. Yes, perfect. All right, guys. So let me see. Well, uh, Noemi is connecting. Okay. Uh, Carlos Amaya is here. Good evening. Um, all right, guys. Good evening. Good evening, Carlos Amaya. So we are going to start with today's class. We have different activities that we are going to cover, but we are going to start with the following, okay? So we are going to start with uh, some exercises, okay? About how often, okay? We are going to start with this. So I'm going to roll the dice, as you can see right here. And we have, let me see, number one. Okay, so Kevin. Can you please create a question using how often with number one, which is this one? Create a question. For example, how often do you read? Now you, Kevin, create a question with this, but with the first verb. Yeah. Say it. How often do you? Uh, um, I is hearing. Oh, no. No. Eat. Repeat after me. Kevin, how often do you eat? How often do you eat? Kevin, now I'm asking you, how often do you eat pizza? In uh, español, teacher. How often? Kevin, adverbs of frequency. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh, I am. I. Is, I. Mm -hmm. Is. No. Let's see. Kevin, ask me the question. You ask me. How often do you eat uh, pizza? Ask me. Ah, yes. How often do you pizza? Do you eat? Do you eat pizza? I sometimes eat pizza. What about you, Kevin? How often do you eat pizza? Uh, mm, so yeah. Frequency. I. Is, I frequency. Frequently? In frequency eat pizza. Yes. Uh, the That's weekend. It. No. Uh, well, you yes, but it's too much information, okay? So I frequently eat pizza. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a frequency, Kevin, okay? Don't forget about that. Let me see. Ronald, uh, good evening, Andrea, okay. Uh, Ronald, how often do you go to the beach? Uh, I usually uh, go to the beach. Excellent. How often do you play video games, Carlos Vega? I usually play video games. Excellent. How often do you travel, Amanda? I sometimes travel. Travel, yes. Travel. 
Thank you. Um, uh, Carlos Amaya, how often do you take a shower? I take a shower every day, Excellent. usually, uh, always. Always, yes. Uh, Maribel, how often do you drive? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't, I don't mm, drive. drive. Excellent, very good. Um, okay, guys. How often do you buy ice cream, Giovanni? I sometimes, ice cream, ice cream. Buy ice cream. Buy ice, ice yes, cream. Yes, okay. And how often do you brush your teeth, Noemi? I always brush my teeth. Excellent. Every day. Yes. Eh, okay, so I always brush my teeth. Ahí está el adverbio de frecuencia ya, guys. No, um, no es necesario agregarle otro adverbio al final. No. Ok, si se quiere decir yo siempre me lavo los dientes, ahí está, su adverbio. I always brush my teeth. Ok. Eh, for example, how often do you eat watermelon? How often do you eat watermelon? How often? How often do you eat watermelon? I usually, I usually eat, watermelon. eat watermelon. Okay, very good. I usually eat watermelon. Yes. Okay. And how often do you read, Kevin? Uh, I read, no, I usually read and read. Excellent. I usually read. Uh, Maribel, how often do you drink orange juice? Always. I always, I always drink orange juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ajá. Do not forget about the uh, how often, guys. Que no se les olvide, okay? El how often. Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's move, guys, and we are going to start with vocabulary, okay? Good evening, Joel. Uh, okay. Okay. Good evening, Rosibel. Okay, guys, we are going to start with vocabulary. So the first thing is tongue twister so we have a tongue twister okay you know new york you need new york you know you need you need new york you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york all right that is a tongue twister es el trabalengua de ahora kevin you are first yes kevin you go first okay the tongue twister Go, Kevin. Uh, you can New York. You need New York. You can you need unite New York. Okay, Kevin, repeat after me and say, you know. You know. No. No. Okay, unique. Unique. Vaya, otra vez, Kevin. Dígalo de nuevo. You know New York. You need New York. You know you need Nick New York. Ok, much better, ok. Much better, mucho mejor. Excelente, ok. Eh, Rosibel, go. Ah, uh, ok. You know New York. You need New York. You know you need unique New York. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Carlos Amaya. Uh, you know New York, you need New York, you need unique New York. 
you you actually you know you know you know you need you know you need unique new york yes okay much better all right um let me see um noemi you know new york you need new york you know you need unique new york okay ronald very good you know New York, you need New York. You know you need, you need New York. New York, okay. Eh, Maribel. You know New York, you, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. Yes, unique. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Okay. And let me see. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Somebody else that wants to try? Me? Go. Go, Jacqueline. You know New York? You need New York. You know you need unique. New York. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So practice it. Okay. Practíquelo en su casa. Practíquelo. Okay. So right now we are going to start with vocabulary. Okay, guys, um, let me ask you, what is the meaning of pick up? What is Levantar o recoger. Excellent. Levantar o recoger. Pick up. All right. You pick up. Usted levanta o recoge algo. Excellent. Put down. Bajar. Bajar, bajar o poner, right? Bajar poner abajo. o poner abajo, exactamente, como colocar abajo. So pick up, levantar. Put down, bajar. Yes? What is the meaning of scroll down? Scroll down. Como rodar, ¿no es? And not exactly, not exactly. A scroll down is desplazarse hacia abajo. A scroll down es cuando nosotros oh, yeah. hablamos de sitios web. Cuando usted está en una página web, ok, let me see. Um, eh, digamos que estamos en nuestra hoja de trabajo, ¿sí? Entonces, yo le digo, desplácese hacia abajo. ¿Cómo puedo decirle solamente desplácese hacia abajo? Y usted está aquí, scroll down. Y mire, scroll down y usted empieza a bajar. Yes. ¿Cuál es el opuesto a scroll down? Es desplazarse hacia arriba. Yes. Mire, para abajo, hacia arriba. So, desplazarse hacia arriba se dice, scroll down. Ah, yes, exactly. So scroll down, despl desplazarse hacia abajo. Y scroll, give me one second, okay. And scroll up. Es lo opuesto, okay. Por aquí se lo voy a poner, tal vez lo, bueno, aquí, para que lo vean, okay. Scroll up, desplazarse hacia arriba, okay. What is the meaning of sit down? Sit down. Sit down, guys. Sentarse. Yes. Okay, Giovanni, don't worry. So, sit down is sentarse. Now, what about pararse? Get up. Now, stand up. Stand up, yeah. Yes, okay, stand up. Yes. Now, turn on. Turn on. Anótelo porque ya lo vamos Encender. a usar. Yes, en un ejercicio que vamos a hacer, encender, correct. Turn on, encender. Lo contrario de encender, apagar, pero ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Turn off. Excellent. Turn, Turn off. off. Very good. Now, wake up is, wake up is, despertarse. despertarse. Very good. And what is the, the other one, the opposite?
¿Cuál es lo opuesto a, a despertarse? Sleep. 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 Ok, very good. Now, switch on. Encender. Encender. En switch on. Apagar. Apagar. Ok, pero eso es cuando usted tiene el switch. Por eso es que a, a, lo, a los, al switch de la luz que nosotros le presionamos, le decimos el switch, le decimos. Pero eso viene del inglés. El switch. Ok. So, switch on, encender. Switch off, apagar. Now, write down. Write down. That means escribir. escribir. Yes. Write down significa escribir. Yes. Estos son, mire cómo se le llaman a estos. Estos son phrasal verbs. Verbos frasales. Yes. So, estos verbos son bien completos en inglés. Entonces, apréndaselos porque le van a ser muy, pero muy útil. Ok. All right. Teacher. Yes. El turn off, digo que era apagar. Apagar. Y el, el, el switch on. Eh, switch on, encender. Switch on, encender. And switch off, apagar. Turn on, encender, and turn off, apagar. Pero ¿cuándo lo vamos a utilizar? Esos son intercambiables. ¿Cuándo, Carlos? Switch on and switch off es para la luz, ¿no? Por, el... por, eso, por los switches, los electrodomésticos. Ajá, correcto. Exacto, ¿ok? Y el turn on y el turn off eh, básicamente son para computadoras, cuando usted la apaga, la enciende. Son intercambiables, en realidad. Para la TV. La TV. También podemos utilizar turn on, turn off, para la televisión, para su celular, apagarlo y encenderlo, turn on, turn off, su celular. El switch on y el switch off es más que todo cuando tenemos que presionar algo. Eh, que, ten, que tenga un switch o algo, que tenga un switch. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Tisha. All right. Very good, guys. So now let's move. Let's move. And now, Teacher. yes. Huh? Perdón. Es, scroll down. Was it? Oh, scroll down. And desplazarse down. hacia abajo. Scroll down, ok. Cuando usted le dice a alguien, no, dale para abajo, le dice uno en español. Dale para abajo, le dice. No, eso es scroll down, scroll down. Scroll Thank down. you. Ok, very good. Ok, guys, so now we are going to complete this. Ok, number one, switch off your phone and then switch it on again. Mire, apaga tu celular y luego enciéndelo nuevamente. Switch off your phone and then switch it on again. Nuevamente, again. Number two. ¿Cuál es el verbo frasal de estos que están aquí? De esos que están aquí. ¿Cuál es el que va aquí? En la número dos. Write down. Write down. down. Very good. Write down. Number three. Stand up and then sit down. Sit down. Very good. Number four. Open a website and then scroll down. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Fíjese bien. The bottom of the page is el final de una página. The bottom, el final de una página. Entonces, teacher, ¿cómo se dice el principio de una página? ¿Cómo cree que se dice? Sí. Si the bottom of the page es el final de una página, ¿cómo se dice? The top. The top. Excellent. The top. The top of the page. The top. Like this. The top. Oh. Give me one second. The top. Así. The top of the page. 
Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. Now, number five. Okay, let me see. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Number five. To see the person or thing behind you. Oh, we didn't cover this one. Eso no le, no le dije. Oh, oh. Turn around. around. Darse la vuelta. Girar. Turn around. Darse la vuelta. Entonces, number uh, five is. Turn around. Turn around. Darse la vuelta, okay? Turn around to see the person or thing behind you. Darse la vuelta para ver a la persona o las cosas que están detrás de usted. Turn around, darse la vuelta. Turn around, turn around, darse la vuelta. Girar, turn around, okay? And number six. Pick up. Pick up, Pick up from the table and then put it down. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Questions, do you have any question? Do you have any doubts, preguntas, dudas? Mm. Any question? No questions. All right. So now, how do you say yes, escribir? Write down. Write down. Right down. Very good. How do you say encender? Turn on. Switch on. Switch on. Turn on. Turn on. Excellent. How do you say recoger? Pick up. Pick up. How do you say poner? Put, Put down. down. How do you say? Um. Um, how do you say levantarse? Stand up. How do you say sentarse? Sit down. Get up. Sit down. Sit down. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah, sit down. How do you say um, despertarse? Wake, Wake up. up. Wake up. Okay. Perfect. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys, so we are going to start with the speaking time. Vaya, vamos a empezar con el speaking time. Esa vez vamos a comenzar como distinto, okay? No vamos a comenzar con gramática, sino que con speaking. All right, so you have a couple of questions. What time? Si usted se fija, estas son WH questions. That's WH. What time do you normally wake up in the morning? How do you usually travel to work or school? In this case, to work. How many hours do you sleep? every night and then you start with those how often do you go to the cinema and where do you like to go on holiday i'll give you around five to six minutes in order for you to practice okay and then we are going to come back yeah so if you cannot join the rooms uh let me know si no puede um, incorporarse a las salas dígame okay <coughs> I'm going to create five so you can be three or four people. Oh, yes, yes. It's okay. Okay. Usted no se preocupe. No se preocupe, Mina. Eh, creo que Andrea va manejando. O creo que, no, creo que está ocupada. Andrea sí está ocupada. Entonces voy a mover a Maribel. Bueno, ustedes tres están ocupados, creo que. Sí. Ok, ustedes tres están en el trabajo. No se preocupen. Um, ok, let me go here. Hello. Hello, Brian. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Empecemos a trabajar. Teacher, aquí solo vamos a escribir, hacer preguntas o solo hablar. Solo hablar. Eso es puro speaking. Eso es hablar. Es speaking. Okay. 
Giovanni. Brian. Hola. Hola. Hello. Empecemos. Sorry, sí. tengo problemas en, en el internet. <ríe> Listo. Lo primero. What time do you normally wake up in the wake morning? Up in the morning. In the meaning, uh, wake, wake up. Teacher, mm -hmm. what? What the meaning white wood? White wood. Oh, what is the meaning of wake up? Wake, wake. up. Uh -huh. Wake up, despertarse. Despertarse. I usually wake up at five. Hey. Cinco de la mañana. Yes, está bien. Cinco, así como lo dijo. At five. Yes. I, I, I am. I am. No, I, am. A A A M. A M. I am. Mm -hmm. You wake up at five. A I am. M. I am. Yes. A M. Uh -huh. Let me see. A unis. Pregúnteme, Brian. Uh -huh. Ah. Why? Well. What time do you this no what time do you normally wake, wake, wake up, up mm -hmm. in, the in the morning? Yes. I am wake up in the morning in fine fine I am hello. I usually wake up at 5 a.m. Yes. Giovanni, what about you? Hi. Mm -hmm. I usually wake up wake up at 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock, okay. Yeah. And how do you yes. usually travel to work, guys? How do you usually travel to work? How? How? Ajá. Eh, la pregunta es ¿a qué hora eh, viajo a su trabajo o al trabajo okay. porque no vamos a la escuela? Yes, how, how, I mean how means como, how. Okay. I usually travel in, in a bus. Oh, okay, so I usually travel by bus. By bus. By bus. <clears throat> I usually travel in my car. By car. By car, okay. But I think siempre es always. 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 I always travel mm -hmm. by bus. By bus. By bus. bus. By bus. By bus. Uh -huh. In the car. In el, en el bus. In, uh -huh. in, in the mañana. Morning. Yes, it's for morning. In the morning. In the morning. Porque en la tarde también. So then, guys, how many hours do you sleep every night? How many hours? How many? Uh, yes. Noemi. Nine? Noemi. Seven o'clock. Seven I hours. Normally, seven I normally, hours. I normally seven sleep six hours. I normally sleep six, six hours. So you wake up around 5 a.m. Noemi? Yes. Every day? <laughs> because I have two sons. Yes. Oh my God. So exhausting, right? And you, Maribel, how many hours do you sleep every night? 
how many? ¿Cuántas? ¿Cuántas horas duerme? How many? Mm, usually... I usually sleep... Sí, seven, seven. Seven hours. Six, uh, six or four. Six or seven. Yes. Can you, Only, Brian? Um, six, uh, seven hours. Seven hours. Yeah. Seven yeah. Hours. And Only you, Giovanni? Sleep. Yeah. I normally sleep six hours. I normally sleep six hours, okay. And where do you like to go on holiday? Where? Where do you like to go on holiday? Where? In my house. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. You Okay. Yeah. I love to stay at home. Repeat, please. I love... I, I love... To stay... stay. At home. At home. Okay. I love I love to stay at home. Excellent. Okay. Thank and you. Thank you. And you, Brian, Noemi, and Maribel, where do you like to go on holiday? Teacher, primero, no estoy razonando que me está diciendo. No, no, no entiendo. Oh, where do you like to go? Go, ir. Where do you like to go? On holiday, vacación. I Yo like trabajo las vacaciones. No, no me dan vacaciones. I don't me, have las paga, me las pagan. Mis vacaciones no, no tengo vacaciones. Solamente las de gozo, las de las que son pues, de, de gobierno, digamos. Todo nacional. Uh -huh. No tengo vacaciones por mi trabajo. Es por el cargo. Okay. Uh, okay. And you know what I mean? I like to go to my family. Okay. And you, Brian? Oh, one a month. A month. One no, but where? Donde? Where? Donde? Viajo de mi cama al sofá. At home, okay. So I love to stay at home. Usted también le gusta estar en su casa. Okay. Okay. So how often do you go to the cinema? How often do you go to the cinema, guys? How often? How often do you go to the cinema? I sometimes. I sometimes. Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. Giovanni sometimes and the other ones? Los demás. I sometimes go to the cinema. I sometimes go to the cinema. Okay, perfect. And you, Maribel? No, voy al cine porque me duermo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Maribel, I don't, I don't, dígalo. I don't, I don't go to the cinema. I don't go to the cinema. I don't know cinema. I don't go to. I I don't go to cinema. Yes, okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the main room. Vámonos nuevamente a la sala principal. Déjenme lo voy a llevar nuevamente. Okay. Okay, Rosibel, how often do you go to the cinema? I often... Ah, no, no, no. I never go to the cinema. And where do you like to go on holiday? Mm, I never... ¿Cómo puedo decir algo? Go out. Excellent. Ronald, can you please tell us how do you usually travel to work? I usually uh, 
uh, travel uh, to work on by by uh, es como el medio, ¿verdad? De, de, de transporte, bye. Yes. No. Yes. Eh, by the car. By car. car. By car, yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, Carlos Amaya, how many hours do you sleep every night? I usually sleep um, eight hours. Eight hours, perfect. Joel, what time do you normally wake up in the morning? Are you there, Joel? No. Amanda, uh, how many uh, hours? Yes. Se llama mi mami. Okay, okay, Amanda, how many hours do you sleep every night? <laughs> um, I always eight hours every night. Oh, I sleep. Oh, oh, perdón, I sleep. Yes, okay, don't worry, okay. Um, Brian, Brian Alexander, how often do you go to the cinema? Uh, once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Okay, I need two volunteers. One is going to be Rose and the other one is going to be Mary. Thank you, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hello, Janet. Hello. Excuse me, teacher. I, I got at my time grounding and here is, is half past six and, and, and I confuse. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. It's okay, Janet. All right. Carlos Vega, you are Rose. Okay. And I need Mary. Okay. Mary, Janet. Uh, me, me, Mary. Yes. Go, Carlos Vega. Okay. Hello, Mary. What are uh, some some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Rose. Well, 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 there are many things I am doing to week. For example, I am singing some payrolls on Tuesday and sending emails on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking to the call. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Colleagues. Colleagues. Yes. Eh, I am thinking, I, I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. Mm -hmm. And who is analy an analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Okay. So let's see. First of all, let's focus on pronunciation, guys. And this one is signing. 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 Yes. Signing. This is firmar. Eso es firmar. Okay. Signing okay. some payrolls. What is the meaning of payroll? What are okay. payrolls? Cheques. Los cheques, ok. Cheques. Yes. Tiene que ver básicamente con eh, los, sí, los... Los pagos de los empleados. Pagos de los empleados, las nóminas, los sueldos, right? Yes. Very good. So then, uh, colleagues. I am talking to colleagues. What is the meaning of colleagues? Colleagues, Tom? Colleagues. Colegas. Colegas. Yes. And now Colegas. this one, analyzing. 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 Okay. Analyzing. Okay, guys. So what are, listen to these questions. What are some activities we're doing this week? What are some activities? Mary is... Payrolls and sending emails. Excellent. Signing some payrolls and sending emails. Are you doing some of the activities described above or which ones? Are you doing some of these activities like signing some payrolls, sending emails, talking to colleagues, taking reports? What does mean above? Yes. Above, above means arriba, arriba, but we don't have anything above, we have it right here. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh-huh. Yes, sending emails and checking reports. Checking reports, perfect, excellent. And the other one, you as well, okay. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, guys. Now, let's see. Fill in the blanks with the events you have at workplace. Okay. So we have signing payroll, sending emails, analyzing the advances. What else? Tenemos que completar hasta la nueve. Díganme actividades que hacen en su trabajo. What doing do you invoices. Doing invoices. Okay. Give me a second. Make reports. Oh, ING, ING. Prepare the meeting. Okay, preparing meetings. Okay, let me go ahead. Delivering photos. Preparing meetings. Okay, delivering photos. Delivering, delivering photos. Uh -huh. What yeah. else? What do you say? Uh, presupuestos in, in English. Budgets. Budgets. I make it budgets. Making budgets. To clients. For clients. For clients. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Making budget. Prepare, prepare route the client a visit. Preparar la ruta de clientes a visitar. Preparar. Preparing. Preparing route. To visit. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, checking bills. Checking bills. Okay. Las facturas de compras. Okay. okay, guys. Very good. Excellent. All right. Guys, don't forget that we are studying the ING. Estamos viendo el mix del presente simple con el presente continuous. Que no se le olvide. Okay. ING and simple present. Okay. Let's move, let's move, okay, let's move. Okay, so we have four readings. Tenemos cuatro lecturas, so I need four volunteers. Me. Me. Okay, I have Carlos Vega, I have Janet, I have Carlos Amaya, and I have... Me. Me. <laughs> Joel, okay. All right, so, yes. Um, Carlos Vega, you are number one. Number two, Carlos Amaya. Number three, Janet. And the last one, Joel. Okay. One, uh, organize yoga cl class classes. Uh, if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't uh, understand Understimate, underestimate the, imp the impact yoga could have on their attitude on outlook. Yoga can help uh, alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss uh, will want uh, those outcomes? Very good. Number two. Celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to relay on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It yeah. shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a car, have care once a month or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Excellent. Painball. Painball. Gave your employees an opportunity to lift some steam by or organizing a day of painball. Mm -hmm. Simply getting out, getting out of the office can work wonders for a staff model. Mm -hmm. Watch out, no, and the bus 
you're going to be prime target. Yes. Well. Guess, guess who asks everyone to bring a cheer hook for, for photo home themselves and hook them I'll hook on our board and then get, then get everyone to put their best guesses forward, forward on each one. It's a, it's a big or easy like, like he, hearing from that will definitely help live spirits while uh, offering plenty of humor of humor along the way. Along the way. Along the way. Okay, guys. So we have four articles. Tenemos cuatro pequeños fragmentos, okay? So organize yoga classes, okay? So from this paragraph, do you have any question about vocabulary? Sí, casi en el number four. <laughs> oh, number four? Which one? Uh, childhood. Oh, uh, childhood. 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 Child. Child. Childhood. Niñez. Childhood. Infancy. Niñez. So it says, ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves. Okay, dice que le pida a todos que traigan una fotografía de ellos mismos cuando estaban pequeños de su infancia. Ajá. Those are activities. Mire, esos son actividades, ¿ok? Actividades para qué? To keep employees happy, para mantener a los empleados felices. What do you think would be another activity? ¿Qué otra actividad los podría mantener felices como empleados? Give them bonus. Give them bonuses. <laughs> yes, give them bonuses. What else? Give them gifts. Uh, give them gifts. All right. What else? Give them bonuses. Give them uh, gifts. What else? ¿Qué más lo podría mantener felices a ustedes como empleados? Give, give them vacation. Time. Give them vacations. <laughs> okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Yo voto por Carlos Amaya. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Ajá. How do you say reconocimiento? Uh, rewardings, rewards, rewards. What, what do you say in English? Eh, horario híbrido. <laughs> Okay, like a like a hybrid uh, schedule, hybrid hi hybrid schedule. Uh, eso me haría feliz. Okay, like some some days uh, at home and some days in the office. Okay. Or oh, oh, in the other place. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. 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 Another place. Okay. All right, so and the other ones, los demás, todo bien. bien. Yes, teacher, todo bien. Excellent, okay, so. Gift cards, gift vacation, cards, vacations, bonus, bonus gift cards. Double and bonus. Double bonuses, right? Extra free time, I don't know what it is. Yes, set it up. Okay, all right, guys. Now, let's see. Number one, let's decide if those are true or false. Yoga has an important effect on employees. True or false? True. 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 Yeah. Maybe. Number two, yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. False. False. Why false? Because this is, this is uh, no yoga can help alleviate 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 stress and calm the mind. Excellent. Number three, based on the reading, spatial locations are not important. 
special occasions are not important. True or false? False. False. False, because they are important. They are really yeah. important. Number four, workers can play paintball inside the office. True or false? False. 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 False, okay. Now, number five, childhood photos can often employees. False. False. Right, no, yes, excellent. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? La asistencia, okay? Attendance, attendance, attendance. Amanda Yesenia Lopez. Present. Thank you. Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Brian Alexander Monterrosa. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Vega. Present. Thank you. Dina Maribel Rivas. Present. Present. Yes, yes, Andrea. <laughs> Enrique Arturo Enriquez. Janet Amaya de Reyes. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Marlene Pérez. Present. Thank you. Joel Alberto Barrera. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel Someta. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Manzanares. Luis Giovanni Villa. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Yesenia Jiménez Moreno. Present. Thank you. Noemi Claribel Méndez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Eunice Álvarez Domínguez. Yes, I think that she's there. Well, Oscar Giovanni Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Ronald Eduardo Montes. Present. Yes. Rosibel Hernández. Yes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jancy Odalis Rendero. Present, teacher. Thank you, Odalis. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro and Marlon Orlando Calles. Okay, Marlon is not here. Okay. Let's continue. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen again. Um, okay, guys. Now, let's talk about WH questions, okay, guys? Fíjense bien, y eso, um, pay attention, pay attention, guys. So, Giovanni, can you please help us reading? Ayúdenos a leer todo, Giovanni. Okay. Uh, how do you we make a WH question? Yes. Form a uh, question word what when plus am um, is are plus subject I do we plus bear plus a and g i and g plus others uh, table yes hey. okay question word where auxiliar bear are Subject do, verb going, others to. What, eh, lo puedo leer eh, de, de corrido? What yes. is yes. she, okay. What is she watching on TV? When is my leaving school? Who mm -hmm. are you talking to? Yes. Eh, why is the teacher saying that? Mm -hmm. Who are they coming here? Thank you. Okay, guys. So let's see. In English, we have the WH question word, right? So when we say WH question word, it's because they, most of them, okay, most of them start with WH. Okay. Es porque la mayoría comienza con la WH. Yeah. And WH question words are also open questions, se les conoce como preguntas abiertas, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Porque nos ayudan a brindar información extra. No es nada más sí o no, it's not just yes, no, or yes I do, no I don't, no, ¿ok? Esas son las que empiezan con el auxiliar nada más. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? For example, we have where are you going to? ¿A dónde vas? 
Where are you going to? What is going to be the answer? ¿Cuál sería una respuesta? Si alguien le pregunta, where are you going to? Where are you going? going to the mall? I, I am, am I am I am going to the supermarket. I am going to the supermarket. I am going to the mall. ¿Qué más? I am going to at work. I am going to work. I am going to an appointment. I am going to an appointment. Very good. Yes. Now I am going to visit my family. I am going to visit my family. Excellent. I am going to nowhere. I am going to nowhere, right? Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. I am going to visit client. I am going to visit clients. Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Excellent. All right. So now that is where, donde. Yeah. So then we also have what. What is she uh, watching on TV? What is she watching on TV? ¿Qué está viendo? ¿Qué? What? ¿Qué? ¿Dónde es where? Ahora, ¿qué es what? So what is she watching on TV? She is watching her favorite series. Excellent. He or she is watching his or her favorite series. Excellent. What else? She is watching a soap opera. She is watching a soap opera. Excellent. What else? What is she watching on TV, guys? Possible answers? She is watching, is watching um, Nardis. Uh, she is watching news. News. Perfect, Amanda. Joel? She, she is watching a novel. She is watching soap operas. Novelas. Soap operas. Yes, okay. Now, when. When means cuando. So, when is Mike leaving school? ¿Cuándo Mike va a terminar o va a dejar la escuela? When, when is Mike leaving school? Possible answers, respuestas imaginativas? On July. In July. Okay, in July. In July, perfect, okay? Remember that if you give the specific date, yes, you can say on, but if not, just in. Hmm? So when is Mike leaving school, guys? In on November. July 25th. On July 25th, Amanda? Mike leaving school at the end of the year. Excellent, perfect, at the end of the year. Janet. Mike is leaving school in, in the next, in November, oh, in November, the next year. Excellent. Yes, very good. Another possible answer that somebody has? Alguna otra? No? Okay. Now, who? What is the meaning of who? Who means quien? Who uh, significa quien? So, who are you talking to? ¿Con quién está hablando? Who are you talking to, guys? I am talking with my cousin. I am talking with my cousin. Very good. What about the other ones? I am talking to my father. I am talking to my father. Very good. What about the other ones? I am talking with my neighbors. Excellent. I am talking with my neighbors. Excellent. Uh, I am talking in my son. I am talking with my son. Okay. I am talking with my cousin. I am talking with my cousin. Very good. Excellent. Okay. I am talking with my mother. I am talking with my mother. Excellent. Uh -huh. 
I am talking with my teacher. I am talking with my teacher. Yes, very good. Okay. Now, why? Por qué? De pregunta. Why? So, why is the teacher saying that? Por qué está la maestra diciendo eso? Invente cualquier respuesta. Why is the teacher saying that? Because she is right. Because she is right, okay. Because she knows English. Because she knows English, very good. Mm -hmm. Another example of an answer? Uh -huh. Why? She was, she... Because she wants, quiero decir que ella quiere que yo aprenda inglés. Okay. Because, because she, she wants, wants me, she wants me to learn she English. She wants me to, to learn, learn English. English. Because she wants me to learn English. To learn me. To learn. Okay. Yes. All right. And the last one. How? Yes, Rosibel. Eh, el, el she one es este, es, son dos palabras que se unen. Mm, mm, mm. No. She wants, I mean, with, when you pronounce them, yes, cuando las pronuncia, sí, ¿verdad? Pero cuando las escribe son así, ¿ves? She wants me to learn English. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. And the last one. How? Como? How are they coming here? How? Uh -huh. They are coming by are, car. They are coming by car. Uh -huh. The other ones? How? They are How? coming in train. They are coming by train. By train. Yes, very good. They, they are coming by yeah, walking. Oh, okay. So they are coming. A, en este caso, si queremos decir a pie, ¿cómo se dice a pie? A ver si se recuerda. Walking. Okay. On foot. On. On, foot. on foot. They are coming on foot. Yes. On foot. On foot. Ajá. Very good. Now, nuevamente, ok, para que no se olvide. Where, donde. What, que. When, cuando. Who, quién. Why, por qué, de pregunta. And how, cómo. Okay. Let's move. And now, the most important part. Mira, eso es súper importante. I need uh, uh, three volunteers. Three volunteers. I need three Me? volunteers. Amanda Me? is one, Me? Eunice two, and uh, I think that Kevin. Amanda, Kevin, Kevin dijo. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes, ok, vaya. Eh, Amanda, Eunice y Kevin. Vaya. Amanda va a leer basic rules. Esos tres que están aquí, los basic rules, Amanda. Eh, uh -huh. Eunice, después va a usted con esto. Y Kevin con esto. Ok. Con if last three letters. Ok, go, Amanda. Mm, dice basic rule we just add plus ing to the verb feed feeding drink drinking say saying and feed with e e False. Right, writing. 
home, homing, dance, dancing. Very good. Kevin. If last three letters are consonant, vowel, consonant, vowels, A, E, E, mm -hmm. I. I, yes. How you? Oh, oh. You. You. Consonant. A, B, C, D, T. Last. Last consonant is written twice. Oh, written twice. Re written twice. Say, sit, sit, sitting, prune, pruning, swim, swimming, stop, oh. stopping. Yes. Okay, guys. So listen to this, okay? Listen to this. The basic rule, la regla básica, the basic rule is that with the ing, we are going to add ing to most of the verbs. A la mayoría de verbos le vamos a agregar ing. Esa es la regla básica. But of course, pero por supuesto, tenemos excepciones que se tiene que aprender de memoria. Okay? So, this one. Ends with E. Los verbos que terminan con la letra E dice que la E Falls. That means que la E cae. Se quita. Cae. Entonces, write ya no va a ser write. Va a ser writing. Come. Coming. Dance. Dancing. dancing. Y fíjese bien que la E ya no está. We add ING instead. Se pone ING en lugar de la E. Es una regla. Todo lo que terminen con E, se quita la E. E falls. And you add ING. Esa es una regla. Now, says, if last three letters are, fíjense bien, si las últimas tres letras son consonante, vocal y consonante, dice que vamos a doblar. La última consonante. Entonces, eso ya lo habíamos visto. Si recuerdo cuando, cuando vimos el like. Vaya. Fíjense bien. Cuando tenemos consonante, vocal y consonante. Fíjense en eso, en ese primero. Sit. Cumple la regla. Consonante, consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So, we are going to double. Vamos a doblar la última consonante que es la letra T. Vamos a poner otra vez, es doblarla, y le vamos a poner el ING. Fíjese bien, mire, run, lo mismo. Termina con consonante, vocal y consonante. Se dobla la última consonante. Swim, the same thing. And stop, lo mismo. Es otra regla. Questions? Pregunta. No. Ok. Um, let me see. Uh, Brian Alexander, help us reading, please. And, um, and Ronald. Ok, Brian Alexander, ayúdenos a leer esto, esta parte. Y Ronald, lo último, este último cuadro, los tres. Uh, do, w. Double. 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 Syllables. Uh, syllable. Syllable. Uh, except, except. Except. For verbs ending. Ending. Y, X, Y. Mm -hmm. 
¿Cómo se dice la Y? Ah, spelling. ¿Cómo se dice la Y, guys? Y, Y, X, Y, W, X, Y, W, X, Y, Excellent. Y, 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 Yes. Y, 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 y written, y written, twenty. Nice. Dice, A5, y es, dice, instant. Vamos. Prefer, preferring. Begin. 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 Be, be Beginning. Beginning. Control. Controlling. 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 Forget. Forgetting. Forgetting. Forget. Listen. Listening. Open. Open. Play. 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 Show. 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 Showing. Okay. Thank you. Ronald. Ronald. Ending with I E. I E falls. And why is used instead? Yes. Uh, lie, lying. Die, dying. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. So those two rules, okay, las últimas dos, es más que todo, bueno, eso es con la pronunciación. Eso es con el tiempo que lo va a ir adquiriendo. Okay. Pero lo, lo tiene que. Eh, se lo tienen que memorizar porque hay unos verbos que, mire, se doblan la, las últimas consonantes también, solo en algunos, ¿verdad? En algunos, no en todos, pero es que to, más que todo con el estrés, ¿ok? Pero tiene que aprendérselo de memoria. Prefer, preferring, begin, beginning, control, controlling, forget, forgetting, listen, listening, open, opening, ¿ok? Y eso más que todo, más que todo del estrés. Yeah, del estrés de las sílabas. Ok. And ending with IE, IE falls. Los que terminan en una IE, miren, cuando los pasamos al ING, ponemos en lugar de la IE una Y, una Y. Es una regla también. Ok. Fíjense bien en las reglas. Ok. Do you have any question? Questions? Doubts? Not right now? Okay. No doubts. No doubts right now. Okay, before taking the exam, antes de tomar el, el, el quiz de los verbos que dijimos que vamos a tener ahora, vamos a elaborar preguntas. Okay. Todas están en presente continuous, guys, y todas son WH, mire. Dice, present continuous tense, WH question form. Okay, number one. Number one. Why, why are you lesson now? Mm, why are you? Hasta ahí vamos bien. Why are you? Now listen. Listen. Now. Why are you uh, studying your lesson studying now? Excellent. Why are you studying? Recuerde que después del sujeto va el verbo. Why are you studying your lesson now? ¿Por qué estás estudiando tu clase now? Tu lección. Okay. Okay. Number two. What are? What are? 
What are the kids are watching the, TV on TV? What are on the, the TV watching on the TV? Perfect. Very good. Number three. Number three, guys. Number three. Um, how? How? How is cleaning the room? No. Sujeto. How mom. is mom cleaning the room? Excellent. Mm -hmm. How is mom cleaning the room? Why? Four. Why are they painting the walls? Painting the walls. The walls. Very good. Okay. Why are they painting the walls? Oh, because we are in December, right? Okay. Number five. When, when is is your, your brother going, going to, going to the, the course? The course. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Number six. Who is Sandra talking to the phone? Who is Sandra talking? on the phone. Very good. And look at this. En todas hay una WH. En todas. Mire. Why, what, how, why, oh. when, and who. En todas hay una WH question. Okay. En todas. Do you have any doubt so far? Okay. The last two. Where are? Where? Where? Are? Are? Beat Anton. Anton. They're doing on time. Doing? Doing their home. Their home work. Excellent. Their home work. Oh. Yes. Uh, and the last one. How is it raining now? How is it raining now? Uh, Excellent. So you see? It's raining. How? Perfect. Questions? Pregunta, dudas? No? Well, let's take the uh, the quiz and then we are going to play. But first, let's take the quiz. I'm going to send it. Se lo voy a mandar. El que dice verb quiz. El que dice verb quiz. Ese. Okay, guys. This, this quiz, este examen, el que dice verb quiz, es acerca de los verbos en presente, en ING, y algunos que ustedes los tienen que escribir. Okay. Tómese su tiempo y me dice cuando ya haya terminado. Ahorita les mando el link a los de WhatsApp. Eh. Ok, there you go. Ahí está. Y la, la clave. Oh, no. Uh, ese, ese no le va a pedir clave. Solo le va a pedir que ingrese su, oh, okay. su nombre y okay. yes, your okay. first and last name. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
finish. Thank you. Okay, let me see. I got all that list. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let me see. Carlos Amaya. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noemi. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. <clears throat> the Epstein was in Spanish or English because in uh, Spanish, me salieron, me salieron muchas malas y la verdad no, no entiendo por qué. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so on, I'm going to explain in a, in a minute, okay? Okay. Mm, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay. Jacqueline. Okay. Okay, I'm missing nine. Okay. 
Ok, two minutes. Dos minutos y luego vamos a explicar el examen. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's see. Okay, I'm going to share my screen, all right? And we are going to check one of yours, yeah? So we have right here um, indications, right? Add the verbs in English, okay? In this part, the verb was in Spanish and you needed to add it in English. So levantarse, get up. Despertarse, wake. Bañarse, bath. How do you say bañarse? Take a bath, te había puesto yo. Take a bath, right. Pero me salió mal. Okay, so take a bath is not that common. No es tan común. Okay. Igual, levantarse, bath, había puesto stand up, por ejemplo, que también. Como. Pero del otro contexto, right? Yes. Vaya, en ese caso, si en ese contexto levantarse, eh, lo vimos como que se, se levanta, pero antes de, uh, después de wake up, después de despertarse, ¿ok? En ese contexto. Now, si usted lo quiere ver como levantarse, de que usted se levanta, ¿ok? De un lugar, está sentado en su silla, all right? ¿Cómo se dice ese verbo? No, cuando estamos acostados en una cama, nosotros podemos decir get up. Pero cuando se está sentado, es estando. Yes. Ok. Es que, um, it's, I would say it's a matter of, of selection. Es cuestión aquí de como de elección. Ok. De elección según el contexto. En ese caso, sí, levantarse como nosotros lo podemos comprender es. Me levanto, ¿verdad? No es pararse. Ajá. Ahora, eh, bañarse. Vaya. Bañarse, take a bath. Yes, you can say that. Sí lo puede decir, pero eso es British English. Por eso es que no lo puse ahí como take a bath. Right. Porque tenemos que seguir, eh, bueno, en nuestro caso estamos aprendiendo American English. Sí, pero take a bath también podría ser correcto si estuviésemos aprendiendo también British English. Está correcto. Ok, pero en ese caso pusimos take a shower. Ok, number four, vestirse, dressed up. También está bien, solamente que el dressed up es eh, un verbo frasal. Vestirse como verbo es get dressed. No quiere decir que sea incorrecto. Está correcto. El número cuatro aquí se la marcó incorrecta porque no pusimos como otra opción, ¿verdad? De cómo se podría haber dicho. Sin embargo, está correcta. Go, ir. ¿Ok? Acuérdense que go es ir. Llegar es arrive. Imprimir. Vi que unos pusieron print out con el verbo frasal. Y eso está correcto también, solamente que ese es un phrasal verb, no es un verbo en sí, es un phrasal verb. Teacher, it to print. Oh, to print, ok. En este caso, el to está de más. 
porque el to lo que nos dice es que es un infinitivo. Y nosotros aquí estamos evaluando nada más los verbos, sin el, sin el tú, sin el infinitivo. Porque si okay. no le hubiese puesto, agregue el infinitivo, y ahí sí estaría bien, to print. Pero en ese caso es solo el verbo. El verbo es print, o print out, que es el verbo frasal. Uh -huh. Now, brush, yes, cepillarse, brush, peinarse, comb. Ok, peinarse se dice comb. Con my hair. Yeah. Eh, cocinar, cook. ¿Verdad? Ese está, estuvo bien. Print out. Print out está bien. Y ese es el verbo. Pero la toma mala. La toma mala porque no lo pusimos como opción. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, number two. This one, a la mayoría le salió súper bien esta, ok. Casi nadie se equivocó. Pero algunos sí porque vi que pusieron, le pusieron una como una I, I latina, an I. No sé por qué le pusieron una I, I latina por aquí y después le pusieron la Y. No, recuerde que siempre que vaya la Y solo le va a agregar el ING. Solo se le va a agregar el ING. ¿Okay? Y recuerde que a los que llevan E al final se les cambia la E por el ING. ¿ya? El ING. Y a los que llevan consonante, vocal y consonante como cut es curin, se le dobla la consonante. Que no se le olvide. And then, las terceras personas. Aquí creo que todos salieron bien. La mayoría. Ok. Dances, plays, studies, washes, moves, checks, does, has, and sins. Yeah. Muy bien. Tal vez lo que tuvimos un poco de discrepancia on this one. Right. On this one. But it's okay, I mean, as long as you don't forget, okay? Trate que no se le olvide, más que todo también esto de aquí. Y uh, puse de nuevo el llegar para ver si se acordaban del que habíamos visto la vez pasada y casi nadie se acuerda de este. Este, bastantes lo fallaron todavía, el de llegar. Que no se le olvide que es arrive, okay? Okay, guys, now, yes, let's play a stop the bus, okay? So I'm going to give you the letter. Yo le voy a decir la letra. Y usted va a buscar a verb, an animal, and an adjective. Un verbo, un animal, y un adjetivo que comiencen con, esas, con esa letra. Que comience, okay? Vamos a jugar con tres, con tres letras. Okay, so the first letter, the first letter is going to be letter eh, B, letter B. Okay, hurry up. You have two minutes. Hurry up. Letter B. A verb, an animal, and an adjective. Que comience con la letra B en inglés, okay? In English. Be like? Yes, mm. with the letter B. Pero dígame, stop the bus. Cuando ya tenga las tres, me dice uh, okay. todo lo demás. Ah, ok, ok, sorry, sorry. No worry. Es, ajá, stop the bus. Cuando ya tengan las tres, stop the bus. It is stop the bus. Ok, no de mí. Let's see. Ok, verb, verbo con la letra B. B. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me. Brush. Brush. Okay. Brush. Yes. Brush. Animal. Hmm? Creo que dijo B. Birds. Oh. Birds. Okay. An adjective. Oh, okay, don't worry. An adjective? Okay, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Very good. So, yes, that is correct. Noemi, one point. 
point. Okay, next letter, guys. Next letter. Okay, so with the letter uh, A, with the letter A, two minutes. Hurry up, it's easy. This is a fast thing. Two minutes with the letter A. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Carlos Vega. Okay. Go, Carlos. There is animal and adjective with the letter A. Uh, ab abandoned. Abandon. Uh -huh. uh, animal and. And, yes. And. Adjective eh, adequate. Adequate. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next, with the letter, with the letter P. Letter P. Two minutes. Easy. Stop the boss. Okay, Carlos Vega. Let's see. Very animal and adjective with the letter P. Play. Play. Animal panther. Panther, yes. An adjective. Persistent. Persistent. Very good. Excellent. Okay, one more. Very good. Okay. Let's see, with the letter, oh, this one is easy, okay? T, letter T, two minutes. Tiger. Okay, Amanda. Tiger. Tiger. Bear, verdad? Verb, yes. Um, With the letter T. Tell. Tell, okay. Tell, tiger, an adjective? Mm. Teacher. <laughs> okay. Teacher. <laughs> Adjective, um, ay, no sé, no se me ocurre nada. Oh, Amanda, ok, let's Tremenda. See. Yeah, ok, Giovanni, ok. Eh, no, solo le estaba apoyando, me estaba dando copia. <laughs> ok, who has it? ¿Quién ya tiene los tres? Nobody. Miss, ya había puesto en verb try, en adjective to y en animal tiger. Tiger, okay, yes, very good, Noemi. Okay, so there is a tie, hay un empate, okay, Noemi y Carlos. Lo no tengo, tango. Okay, ajá, uh -huh, tango, yes. Okay, very good, yes, Amanda, okay, I'm going to add. Okay, the last one, la última. Okay, vamos a ver si empata Amanda con Noemi y Carlos, okay. Bye, okay. Here we go. Okay, think about it, okay? Piense bien en, su, en el verbo, verb, animal, and adjective, okay? Uh, easy, okay? Let me see. Um, okay, with the letter M. Two minutes, hurry up, two minutes. Stop the bus. Okay, Carlos Amaya. Let's see. Make monkey and massive, I think so. Yes, massive. Yes, very good. Okay, 
Okay, Carlos. Okay. The last one, guys. Okay, the last one. The last one. Because we have a tie. Tenemos un empate. Okay, so the last one. With the letter. Let me see. With the letter. Oh, this one is easy. L. Letter L. Oh, two. Two minutes. Stop the bus. Okay, Carlos Vega. Let's see. Verb, animal, and adjective. Like. Uh -huh. uh, animal, uh, lion. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely. Adjective. Excellent. Okay, very good. So the winner today was Carlos Amai. No, Carlos Vega. Okay, Carlos Vega. Okay, so guys. Now we are going to take the listening. Vamos a tomar el listening, okay? Vaya. Vamos a eliminar eso. Okay. Vaya. Le voy a mandar el link de listening. Solamente es uno. Ahora solamente es uno. Un listening. Okay. Vaya. Aquí está el link. Y el código siempre va a ser listening, okay? El mismo de todos. Siempre. Ah, ya les mando los del WhatsApp. Ok, lo del WhatsApp, aquí está el link. Y el código, acuérdense, es listen, letra mayúscula, capital letter, capital letter everything. And let me see, I'm going to play the audio. And let me see. Yes, perfect. Ok. Um, ok. Let me know once you're in. Okay, let me know once you're in. Me dice cuando yo estoy adentro, guys. In. In. Okay, perfect. In. In. Perfect. Let me see. Okay, ready? Ya todos estamos listos? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm going to play it twice. Se lo voy a poner dos veces, pero si se necesita otra vez, me dice, okay? Let me see. Aquí está. Okay, so here we go, guys. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention. Okay. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <coughs> Jacob? <coughs> Hi. <coughs> you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck, that sounds awful. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I, 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 we'll see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Okay. Again? Yes, right? Gone. Okay. Here we go, the second time, guys. Thank you, Carlos Amaya. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <coughs> Jacob? <coughs> Hi. Uh, you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold, and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck, that sounds awful. <coughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? 
I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I I I will see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Okay. Ready? Yes, yes, of course. Like you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. The last time. Hello, English Language Center. Hello, Sarah. This is Jacob. Jacob? <clears throat> Jacob? <clears throat> Hi. Uh, you sound terrible. How are you doing? Oh, I have this bad cold, and I threw up three times this morning. Yuck, that sounds awful. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, could I take today off? I think if I rest today, I'll be ready for t for tomorrow. M maybe. Sure. I... I uh, we'll see if we can get another teacher to cover your classes. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. Take care. You sound terrible. I hope you're better by tomorrow. Oh, thanks. Okay. All right. Send your answers, guys. Bien respuestas. Quiero ver. Let me check. Let me check your results. Okay. Most of you got 180. Done, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Okay, some of you got 100. Was it difficult? Yeah. A little bit? Okay. And check. All right, guys, let's continue. Bye, guys. Let's just answer the following. All right, so what we need to do on this one, guys, is that we are going to create questions, okay? Ahora tenemos la respuesta y vamos a crear la pregunta sin tenerla ahí. So la respuesta es, the children are watching TV. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta con WH? What are they? What are children the, doing? Okay. What are the children doing? Okay. Perfect. Yes. We can even write that. Like that. Number two. We are going to the cinema tonight. Question? Where are you going? Where are you going? Tonight. Where are you going tonight? Number three, he's laughing. What is he doing? What is he doing? He is laughing, yes. Number four, you are reading a book. What are you doing? What are you, what are you reading? What are you reading? Let me see. Give me one sec. Okay. Uh, Kevin, number five. What? She is planting flowers in the garden. Kevin. Question. La pregunta. What? What? What are? What is? What are? What, what are, are these planting flowers in the garden? Okay. No. Veamos cuál es la respuesta. Dice she's. What is flowers. she doing? What is what is she in the garden? Okay. Now it is going to be what is. What is she doing? What is she doing? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? What is she doing? Okay. She is planting flowers in the garden. Okay. So, Joel, number six. 
I am laying on my bed. Question. What does it mean laying? Eh, acostada. Cuando se está acostada en su cama, así es. I am laying on my bed. What, yeah. what, what are you? What are you? What are, are you? What are you doing? Excellent. What are you doing? Excellent. Very good. Number seven. Number seven. Um, help us with number seven, Giovanni. It is raining heavily outside. Uh, Question. Question. Yes. Let's Where? See. No. No. How? Um, yes. How? How are? No. No. How is? Piense el sujeto. How is outside? How is? How is? El sujeto. It's How is it raining? Okay. How is it raining outside? ¿Cómo está lloviendo afuera? It is raining heavily outside. Okay. Okay. Number eight, eh, Rosibel, number eight. They are riding bicycles in the park. Question. Where? Where are? Where are we reading? Mm, where are they? Uh -huh. Where are they reading? Riding. Riding. Uh -huh. in bicycles. Bicy in the park. Oh, no. No, no. porque su, su pregunta es, ¿dónde están ellos conduciendo bicicletas? Uh -huh. La respuesta es... Where are they riding bicycles? Yes, okay. Bye. All right. So, mañana vamos a seguir con las WH questions. All right. So, tomorrow we are going to continue with WH questions because we need to improve on that, guys. Le pido que estudie por su cuenta las WH, okay? Tenemos que mejorar en ello. Uh, right now, we are going to stop right here because of the time. The only one that please stay, Kevin. Kevin, por favor, se me queda un momentito para tener el feedback. Then, los demás, you may go ahead and go to rest, guys. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Uh, okay, Kevin, are you there? Kevin, yes. Okay, Kevin, how are you? ¿Cómo está, Kevin? Uh, good. Uh, ¿Cómo dice? Muy bien. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, very good. Okay, Kevin, uh, this is going to be a short space. Este es un pequeño espacio, okay? Que eh, básicamente es para que usted me pueda comentar cómo se ha sentido con las clases, cómo se ha sentido con la dinámica de las clases, cómo se ha sentido con sus compañeros, si ha tenido problemas con la plataforma. Quiero saber si había estudiado inglés anteriormente. Eh, bueno, lo que usted me quiera comentar acerca de los estudios en inglés. Pues la plataforma me funciona bien. Uh -huh. Ningún inconveniente con compañeros ni nada por el estilo. Ok, Kevin. Y no, inglés nunca había estudiado. Es primera vez que tomo un curso. Ok. Eh, honestamente, sí, lo siento bien difícil. ¿En serio, Kevin? En serio. Inglés, eh, como le repito, nunca había tomado ningún curso ni había estudiado. Y estamos tratando. Tratando, tratando de estudiar cuando nos queda tiempo, porque así cuesta bastante. Vaya, ok. okay. ¿Cómo se ha sentido con las clases? Pues, 
a veces siento yo que sí van un poco rápido a las clases. O sea, yo entiendo que hay unos que sí ya han tomado cursos y todo, y eso hace que la clase se acelere un poco, pero hay tratando de acomodarse al tiempo también. O sea, tratar de agarrar el hilo rápido, pues. Ok, vaya que bien. Eh, veamos. Eh, bueno, con respecto a, a que siente difícil el curso, ¿verdad?, es normal. Recuerde que en ese caso usted está estudiando algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Siempre lo nuevo pues es difícil al principio, ¿verdad? Pero tenemos que poner de nuestra parte, Kevin, ¿sí? Eh, lo que le puedo yo recomendar es lo siguiente. El módulo, ¿estuvo en el módulo 1? Sí. Ok. Si usted ya se fijó, el módulo 2 es básicamente un repaso del módulo 1. Es un repaso. Entonces hay cosas que en el módulo 1 tuvieron que haber visto. No sé si ustedes cubrieron eso en el módulo 1 o, o, o no lo sé, ¿verdad? Porque usted tenía otro maestro distinto. Pero en este caso, la mayor parte de los temas que estamos viendo en este momento, a excepción del presente continuous, que es el que le estamos dando énfasis porque es el que más estamos cubriendo, eh, el simple present se vio en, en el primer módulo. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? Que en este caso hemos dado un repaso y tal vez usted ha visto que hemos ido rápido porque eso es un repaso de la, de, 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 a principiante 1. Entonces el libro nos lleva, si usted se fija, el libro va con los temas. Con los temas. Entonces no es que las clases vayan rápido. En sí el libro es el que nos va guiando a nosotros cómo vamos a desarrollar todas las clases. Entonces se le da énfasis, obviamente, a temas que son más difíciles para ustedes, porque uno como maestro sabe, ¿verdad? Dónde fallamos. Sin embargo, Kevin, tenemos que tal vez tener un poquito más de tiempo para estudiar el inglés, porque si usted no estudia aparte de las clases, créame que lo va a sentir más difícil. Porque recuerde que el inglés no es nada más las dos horas que tenemos clases, también usted tiene que dedicarle al menos unos 15 minutos, ¿verdad? Al idioma inglés. Tratamos de hacer lo que podemos para ponerles prácticas, ¿verdad? E incluso creamos exámenes, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes puedan practicar en la clase. Ahora, lo que he notado en algunas ocasiones, Kevin, es que no estamos enfocados en las clases. He notado que a veces eh, yo le puedo preguntar algo y usted, obviamente, estamos con la cámara abierta y podemos observar que estamos eh, tal vez eh, platicando con alguien más. Entonces, en este caso, Kevin, tenemos que estar concentrados en la clase. ¿Sí? Yo le pido eso, Kevin, que por favor se mantenga concentrado en la clase porque después, ¿verdad? No queremos que usted sienta difícil las clases porque cuando estamos en la clase, ¿verdad? Tal vez estamos haciendo otra cosa o nos distraemos. Entonces, en este caso, tal vez esa es una observación de mi parte que yo he notado como su maestra de inglés. ¿Verdad? Entonces necesito que usted esté más enfocado en la clase. ¿Sí? Para sí, que, ¿sí? Para que eh, vayamos como um, tratando de agarrar el hilo. Como le digo, hay cosas de que sí estamos explicando, ¿verdad? Una y otra vez porque es repetición. Es repetición y tratamos de hacerlo lo más que podamos para que ustedes después pues, se les quede, ¿verdad? Se les quede y pues no, no tengamos esos vacíos que tal vez hay ciertos vacíos de muchos temas que tal vez a usted le han costado o, o, o no sé si le ha quedado claro como de, de clases anteriores, pero cuando usted tenga preguntas, Kevin, también hágalas, ¿sí? Si usted no comprende un tema, dígame, teacher, yo no comprendo, me puede volver a explicar. Y yo con gusto, Kevin, yo con gusto le digo, ok, nos vamos a quedar usted y yo en la sala principal y yo le voy a explicar nuevamente el tema. Porque no hay ningún problema que usted no comprenda el primer, la primera explicación. Para nada, eso es normal. ¿Ok? Pero yo necesito que usted cuando no comprenda algo, Kevin, usted me lo comunique. Porque si usted no me lo comunica, yo tampoco lo voy a saber. Yo me doy cuenta cuando yo le pregunto y en ocasiones eh, me dice, excuse me, teacher, ¿puedo volver a repetir? Bueno, me doy cuenta cuando tal vez no estamos enfocados en la clase. Entonces, es por ello que yo le hago ese, como, um, ese, ese recordatorio, ¿verdad? Que si usted no comprende un tema, que por favor me lo haga saber y yo con gusto le voy a explicar. ¿Sí? 
En este caso, le hago una pregunta. ¿Cuál de los temas que hemos visto hasta el momento es el que usted me dice? Teacher, yo siento que ese yo no le he comprendido. Yo siento que ese tema yo no lo sé. No, no lo entiendo. ¿Cuál es el tema que usted no entiende o que no comprende a totalidad o que tiene dudas que usted dice, me siento perdido? O sea, tal vez, o sea, no es el tema, sino es la forma en cómo voy a emplear lo que es el, por ejemplo, en el presente continuo, o sea, cómo emplearlo en las oraciones. O sea, yo puedo comprender este, o sea, le puedo comprender cómo hay que, cómo es en el momento, pero ya para emplearlo, si usted se ha fijado cuando se me preguntan las cosas, lo que me cuesta es responderle. Tal vez yo le puedo entender lo que me está preguntando. Pero ya formular la respuesta es lo que yo no, o sea, me, me cuesta cómo va. Vaya, pero ahora le, le voy a hacer una pregunta, ¿ok? Si yo le pregunto en este momento, what are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo? What are you doing? Eh... Ay, aquí es donde, o sea, yo le comprendo, pero para responderle, ¿estoy en clases de inglés? Ok, bye. Entonces, si alguien le pregunta, en este caso yo le estoy preguntando, what are you doing? Obviamente usted me lo dijo, ¿qué estás haciendo? ¿Verdad? Eh, ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? El presente continuo. Exacto. Entonces, usted ya tiene que, vamos a utilizar el presente continuo. Pero ahora, ¿cuál es la estructura del presente continuo? Es lo que hemos estado viendo. Entonces, si alguien le pregunta a usted, what are you doing? I am, I am studying English. I am paying attention. I am speaking with my teacher. I am uh, checking my homework. I am doing exercise. ¿Sí? Entonces, si le pregunto, por ejemplo, otra pregunta. Um, what is your mom doing right now? What is your mom doing right now? Invent. What is your mom doing right now mom my mom eh, oh mama eh, what is your mom ¿Cuál es el nombre de mamá no. no listen escuche what is your mom doing right now eh, I mom My mom. My mom eh, is cooking. Perfect. Excelente. Ahora otra, otra pregunta. What is your best friend doing right now? My best my, my best friend is go to the beat. El verbo en ing is going to the beat. Uh, así. Ahora, what are you doing right now? I am speaking English con uh, a teacher. With my teacher. With my With, teacher. Yes. Okay. Ahora si yo le digo, what are you doing tomorrow? Eh, I tomorrow. Eh, going to the work. Tomorrow I am going to work. What else? Allí, ¿Qué más? Allí, allí es donde yo trato de entender, o sea, hay unas oraciones que primero me presento como decirlo, yo, y en otras primero, como vale. lo que... No, la expresión de tiempo, Kevin, 
ese mañana, la expresión de tiempo siempre va a ir al principio o al final. Nunca después del sujeto, nunca después de I. No, es tomorrow I am going to work. O I am going to work tomorrow. ¿Sí? Vaya, otra vez. What are you doing tomorrow? Dígame cuatro cosas que va a hacer mañana. Quiero escuchar. What are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I am driving to work. Mm -hmm. Driving to work. Driving, driving. Driving to work. Uh, tomorrow I am breakfast uh, seven o'clock. El verbo. I am. I am. Having. Having breakfast at seven, seven o'clock. Okay. Three. Uh, I am washes the car tomorrow. I am washing. Okay. I am washing the car tomorrow. The last one. Uh, I am visit. The, cl the I client. El ING. I am visiting the client tomorrow. Very good. So, ve, no es difícil, Kevin. Ok. Lo que tiene que hacer usted es estar concentrado. Ok. Sí, sí mira, aquí lo ha hecho bien. Si ¿Sí ve, lo ha hecho bien. No, no, no. O sea, es lo normal que cuesta al principio como crear las oraciones, pero no es que le haya costado que yo diga, sí, Kevin, verdad, es, es bien difícil. No. ¿Okay? Lo que usted tiene que hacer es estar concentrado. Cuando estemos explicando, usted tiene que estar concentrado para que eh, no sienta tan difícil las cosas, las clases. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, pero lo hizo súper bien. All right. Bueno, so, yes. Do you have any other question? ¿Tiene alguna otra pregunta, Kevin? Pues, no, solamente. No, no, pregunta no. Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro? Yes. Yes? Vale, Kevin. Ok. Vale. El día de mañana, Kevin, eh, necesito que participe más. ¿Ok? ¿Yes? Necesito que me participe más e incluso yo voy a llamar siempre su nombre para que me participe más y que usted eh, participando se le vaya quedando más las cosas. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Ok, Kevin. So then we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. ¿Ok? Lo veo el día de mañana. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm.